Choosing the right electrical contractor to install your electric vehicle charging equipment can make the difference between having many trouble-free years of EV charging and living with a potential safety hazard. One that can result in something as simple as tripping a circuit breaker, or it could be much worse. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about why I partnered with QMerit for all of my electric vehicle charging installation needs. This video is powered by QMerit, North America's leading provider of installation services for electric vehicle charging, home energy storage, and other electrification technologies. See how QMerit is making the energy transition easy for home and business owners by following the link in the description of this video. I've been driving electric vehicles since 2009. It's over 14 years. I've owned 10 different electric vehicles, and I think I've charged my EVs on virtually every type of electric vehicle charging equipment that's been available, both public and privately here in North America over the course of the last 14 years. I've probably driven about 400,000 miles on my EV, so I've plugged in and unplugged quite a few times. I do a lot of reviews here on state of charge for electric vehicle charging equipment. I try to help people figure out what the best equipment is for their specific needs. And I have to admit, early on, I wasn't as, let's say, vigilant telling my followers to make sure they hire the right electrician. Because my thoughts on the subject was, hey, licensed electricians should know how to install this stuff. There should be no problems. Just get yourself a licensed electrician. And I even admit, I probably more than once told people, you could probably figure this out and do it yourself. After all, I'm a do-it-yourselfer. But this is a little different. And I'll tell you how I figured that out. Over the years, so many of my followers sent me pictures of burned wires, outlets that were melted, uh, all different kinds of problems. The chargers themselves, when they bought low quality charging equipment, melted. So I started to really get a better picture of what's going on here. And in a lot of cases, unfortunately, outlets that are being installed aren't up for the duty cycle of electric vehicle charging. We talk about duty cycle. We say, well, Tom, it's a 240 volt NEMA 1450 outlet should be able to be used for electric vehicle charging because that's what plugs into it. And I get what you're saying, but unfortunately not all electrical equipment is made to deliver the duty cycle for every type of use case. Most 240 volt outlets are gonna get used a couple times a week and maybe for an hour or two at the most for like an electric clothes dryer or a electric kitchen range, something like that. Uh, even welding equipment doesn't get used all the time unless it's a professional welder. And what I saw happening was people were installing these budget outlets. They weren't using the proper wiring. They were using aluminum wiring, which expands and contracts more. And the outlets were melting. The wires were disconnecting. There was even small fires in some instances. And that started to help me rethink how I recommend and how I talk about electric vehicle charging installation. Right around that time, I started getting to know QMerit, which was a new company. This is a few years ago. I think I wrote one of the first articles on QMerit for Inside EVs back in 2017 or 2018, something like that, because this was this outfit that was starting and they were going to specialize in electric vehicle charging equipment installation. And I was kind of like, well, you know, listen, it doesn't every electrician do that, so why do you need a company specialized in it? But then I started realizing we kind of do, and that's because electric vehicle charging is different than any other electrical appliance in your house. And that's because it pulls so much current for so many consistent hours that we really need to have special guidelines for EV charging. Now, I help my followers figure out which charger they should buy. <laughs> As you can see here in the state of charge garage, I've got quite a few of them. And I then decided that it was probably best for me to help people figure out who they should use to install the charging equipment. So that's when I took a closer look at what QMerit was doing. And I like the fact that they recognize that EV charging is different than anything else that you're going to have in your house. You're going to be pulling more current when you charge your electric vehicle than the rest of your house. You may be pulling more current than your entire house and your neighbor's house at the same time. And you do it for many continuous hours, often every day of the week. That puts a strain on the equipment, on the outlet, on the wiring, 
that normal electrical appliances don't place on this. So then it goes back to the fact as well, if electrical contractors are licensed, they should know what they're doing. And I agree with that. They should know what they're doing. But this is a new industry and some electrical contractors really aren't up to speed on EV charging yet. And they cut corners. They'll use cheaper wire, cheaper outlets. They won't pull permits. And all of those things contribute to you potentially having a problem. So, you know, you went out and bought a nice, new, shiny electric vehicle. You chose the right electric charging equipment. Why not make sure that you have the right installer for this equipment? Even if it costs a couple hundred bucks more, isn't that worth knowing that it was done correctly and you're not going to have any problems in the future? I think it is. And that's really why I decided to partner with Cumerit. And in addition to receiving a bunch of pictures with charred wires and melted outlets, I also received a lot of messages and feedback from followers that used Cumera and were happy with their service. Cumera's distributed workforce management platform was custom made for EV charging and electrification services. And they started out 14 years ago when they were tasked with installing electric vehicle charging equipment at all of the BMW dealerships for Coulomb, which is now ChargePoint. Now, Cumerit isn't a singular company with thousands of employees throughout the country. It's actually a network of licensed electrical contractors. These contractors have been operating in your area already for many years. It's just that to be a Cumerit certified installer, the companies have to be vetted. They have to be fully insured, background checked, and then Cumerit trains them specifically for installing electric vehicle charging equipment. And they have to adhere to specific rules, like they can only install industrial grade outlets. They can't use those $20 outlets that you buy at a hardware store. They can only directly wire copper wire to the outlets or to the charging station if it's a permanently mounted charging station. They can't use aluminum wire because aluminum expands and contracts 30% more than copper wire does. And over the years, that expansion and contraction can actually back the screws off the connections and that's when you get arcing and that's when you get a fire. See, a lot of these best practices aren't followed by just every electrical contracting company out there. They also have to torque all of the connections to the proper specific torque. They have to use torque wrenches. Very few electrical contractors do that. They just kind of hand tighten it and say, okay, it's tight enough, it's good enough. But you know what, good enough isn't good enough for the Q-Merit electrical contracting network. Every Q-Merit installation starts out with a load calculation to make sure your existing service can accommodate the electric vehicle charging equipment that you want to install. This is a very important and often overlooked by some electricians because the heavy demand of EV charging combined with your home's existing electrical demand needs can overload your entire service and create serious problems down the road. The load calculation will also take into consideration your future needs as your electrification journey continues. Your Cumerit electrician will manage all of your permitting and inspection needs to make sure that the installation is done properly and safely. Cumerit also proactively checks if there are any rebates and incentives for your EV charging equipment. There's actually quite a few of them out there in many states. Now it varies from state to state, but there's a lot of programs that can help offset the cost of installing your electric vehicle charging equipment. No other electrician will do that. Cumerit's customer success team closely monitors your installation to deliver a seamless experience every step of the way. And you can be confident knowing that Cumerit has the highest customer satisfaction scores in the electrical service industry. Cumerit's score is 9.4 out of 10, which is virtually unheard of in the residential service market. And finally, Cumerit offers an annual safety and service plan so you can have peace of mind that your system is performing safely and correctly year after year. Now, I've built my reputation over the years offering fair, honest reviews of electric vehicles and electric vehicle charging equipment. And I wouldn't steer you wrong on this one either. Now, I had a lot of companies that wanted to sponsor State of Charge, but I chose Qmerit specifically for the reasons I mentioned in this video and the fact that 
It's very important that people have their electric vehicle charging equipment installed properly. In fact, even if you don't use QMerit, I urge you to hire an EV charging equipment specialist and not just the regular electrician that you use to install a ceiling fan or add an outlet. At the very least, make sure you ask them questions and make sure they understand that they're gonna use copper wiring and they're not gonna use cheap outlets if you install an outlet. It's always best practice to hardwire EV charging equipment, but I understand some people prefer to have plug-in units. And there's best practices that need to be followed. Just make sure the electrician that you choose knows those and follows them. Listen, if this is your first time here at State of Charge, don't forget, smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any upcoming electric vehicle news and reviews. And as always, thanks for watching.